I'm going to talk about creativity and artificial intelligence. Um, some of you may have heard of Stable Diffusion, a AI model that we released. You put in prompts like Latent Spaceman, the Quillen Ridge of the Isle of Skye, DJ Hamster, and a second later, this is created. This is a model that we released about two months ago and designed it to basically enhance creativity. But it's just one of a series of models that we have released. And what a model is, is just a small file that can do just about anything. Um, because the pace of AI change has gone exponential. And this model and this type of thing has been available for the first time. And we've been kind of pioneering the open source side of it. So a lot of you will have seen AI art NFTs and things like that. All those models were designed by our team at Stability. Because Stability, we kind of combine open source AI and community to have communities with 20,000 developers, from Eleuther that did all the language models that drive things like Alethea AI, to Carper that does things like open source code models that'll be released soon, open biology, biology models with open BioML, and then image models like you've seen there. The nature of AI has changed in that the AI that you were used to in Web2 was extrapolation AI for kind of targeting you with various ads and things like this. This is a new type of AI which I call a big model AI where you take large amounts of data and you learn principles from it to be able to do things like what is a hamster, what is a space hamster, and things like that. That requires a lot of data, but not as much as previously. In fact, we used 100,000 gigabytes of image data to create stable diffusion. But you need something more. Uh, we actually have the 10th fastest supercomputer in the world to do this. We also run on decentralized GPUs, and so we'll be making some announcements about that soon. So there's us in red, about a quarter of the total compute of Meta, about 10 times the compute of NASA, or the UK's fastest supercomputer. You then need talent from the communities and those data sets, like the ones we created. The 100,000 gigabyte Lion data set, which is two billion images, that we managed to compress down to a two gigabyte file that you can run on your MacBook to create any of those images that you've seen right now. And this is what we mean by distributed creativity. You don't need to have a server, you don't need internet. You can run it on your MacBook, generate those images in 30 seconds. And it's not just images, we've got audio that we've released, we've got video coming up. We're basically democratizing AI for everyone and we're releasing it open source to the world. And I think it's gonna be very interesting going forward because it's been very difficult to communicate. Like the easiest way to communicate has been speech, like we're doing right now, I'm talking to you. Then text is more complicated, and you've seen GPT-3 and language models make that easier, and we released GPT-Neo and J and X, which have been downloaded 25 million times by developers now. But visual was the hardest, be it a PowerPoint or an image like you've seen. With Stable Diffusion now, it's easy for anyone to create an image. You can go on Dream Studio or Mid Journey or any of these other things, and type a word, and in a second, you generate any image. But it doesn't stop there. We're building a PowerPoint killer where you can describe anything and it'll automatically create PowerPoint slides that are beautiful every time. Visual communication is now possible for everyone and that flattens the curve. Be it if you're five or if you're 50 or 100. You won't have to struggle anymore because I hate PowerPoint and you know I have aphantasia so I can't visualize anything in my head. Now I can create anything. And I think that really opens up things. We've had about two million users using Dream Studio in the last two months, which is our core AI suite, but about 20 million people using the technology in total, generating about a billion images. The Stable Diffusion model itself was downloaded 200,000 times um, by developers, so 200,000 developers have been using it, making over 1,000 projects. And we'll show you some examples of that in a little bit. Um, I think that this technology is about to take off because over the next year, we're gonna take it down from a two gigabyte file to a 100 megabyte file. And I think we'll be able to take inference time, the time it takes to make an image from one second to 24 frames a second. So you can generate videos basically live within the next couple of years of anything you can describe. And you'll be able to do that eventually on a mobile phone, but even on a mobile phone, being able to generate an image of anything is a bit insane. We've already got it working on an iPhone. And so we think this technology goes to a billion people. I think that kind of changes the internet as well because we're all here talking about Web3 and you know, I think we're moving towards an intelligent internet because a lot of Web3 didn't have AI in it. And so part of this was to give AI, be it text, search, image, video, everything, to Web3 and fill that gap there. Because right now we've got all these identity protocols and rails, but we don't have the intelligence in it and we don't have this cutting edge intelligence. The only entities that can build this intelligence and this AI are ourselves, who are decentralized and have these communities and open source angle, Google, Meta, NVIDIA, and Microsoft slash OpenAI. So we're really trying to kind of fill that gap there. Um, and I think eventually every person, company, country, and culture will have this technology to be able to create and communicate anything they want to say. 
again, this will be extended. So we have everything from kind of logic-based to 3D to video. So in the next three months, video models, 3D models, we've released our audio models. You'll be able to create anything you can imagine. And again, have that customization. This opens up opportunities on the NFT side, token side, community side, everything. Because every single company, country, and culture will have to have their own models. And again, this is being made accessible to anyone. In fact, you'll be, I'll be showing a video in a minute. You can customize your own model with your own face within about $5 of compute now with the base that we've done. Because a supercomputer takes all the knowledge and compresses it down to a file that can then be adjustable. So it's like a foundation for everything, which is why also they're called foundation models. And I think this changes the nation of a metaverse as well. A lot of us have talked about it. I don't think it's this meta type thing where they had no genitals and legs until recently. You know, I think it's everyone has their own AI models and they all bring their own content in here and they generate it live. Similarly, you don't need Google image search when you can generate images within a second. Again, this has only been possible within the last couple of months, and I think everyone in this space needs to understand the implication of this, from image to text to video to audio, code and elsewhere. So I think it's more a multiverse, a multiverse where everyone can basically participate. And again, I think that crypto and tokens have a real part to play in that. And I think it should be open. Again, these rails can't be controlled by any one entity. Let's face it, most of the value in Web2 was AI companies targeting your attention. And so again, I think what we're building is a vital part of all of that across all these modalities. And uh, that's why I think it's AI for the people, by the people. And that is our GitHub. So in two months, we've got half the stars of Bitcoin. And we're heading towards Ethereum. That shows you the developer pickup here. And I think it's going to continue. And then as everyone gets together and builds cool things, it's going to be a bit insane how this thing continues. Especially because our next model that we're about to release in a few weeks Let's just say it's got a lot of surprises there. So I know it's been a long day. I'm going to finish up there. I've created a nice video to show off some of the things that people have created from the community for us releasing this open source. And I look forward to you using this technology to create. Send me your favorite creations, right? Can we play the video now, everyone? very exciting moment in, I would say, the history of technology, the history of artificial intelligence. That is the release of Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion. So Stable Diffusion, I think, is going to really shake up the AI game. of creativity, collaboration, and open improvement. It has absolutely blown up recently. I'll just explain real quick. Hey, you got this big model, you can type in anything, and you get a picture, and you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna type my name in, and like, nothing comes up. I trained the thing for a week and a half on it looking like me, but guess what? On my drive down, this guy figured out how to do it in 15 minutes. <laughs>